What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of One Time Play and today we're going to be talking about uh, how to capture the boss ghost uh, Dr. Potter. I believe he is on the 7th floor and after defeating him you do go ahead and get uh, the button to the 8th floor on the elevator. And the type of ghost that he is, he's a botanist. So what that means basically is he just likes to grow plants and... Uh, yeah, studies, plans, and all that type of stuff. But uh, here, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And enjoy the video, people. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a little cutscene right before you do fight the boss uh, ghost, which is Dr. Potter. Uh, like I said, he is on the seventh floor. So let me just go ahead and let you guys watch this little cutscene, which it's going to lead you into the boss fight. So basically right here, Dr. Potter is using this right there, which is going to be his weapon, which is a plant. And the way to beat this is uh, you're going to want to go ahead and use that right there, the chainsaw, when the plant uh, bites uh, those things that are growing right there. They look like uh, squash to me. But uh, yeah, so you want to go ahead and not be close to Dr. Potter because that's what happen when um, you get too close to him his animal plant whatever thing uh, bites you attacks you and takes away 20 HP so what you want to go ahead and do is kind of like drag it or get it as close to you to where it bites those um, I don't even know what you want to call them cantaloupe squash looking things probably butchering it but I'll show you right here he needs to go ahead and get a little closer so see he bites that and then right there it sees where you want to go ahead and cut that's where you want to go ahead and cut right away because he gives you like five or ten seconds till he just runs around and disappears but after that basically you just want to go ahead and shine your light at him and uh, just try to vacuum him up and just take him out uh, but the first time I couldn't really do it, so you want to go ahead and just continue. You see the his um, monster got caught, so you want to go ahead and cut through with the chainsaw. And then after that, you'll be able to go ahead and flash him with your flashlight. He runs away, he was pretty close to the wall, so flash him with your flashlight. And then just pull, and then as soon as you can, just press A and then just button smash uh, Dr. Potter. So you can just go ahead and just reduce his HP. He is 300 HP, so it'll take a little bit to kind of destroy him. But besides that, it's not necessarily really hard. You just want to go ahead and have the monster bite and eat that whatever thing it is. So you can go ahead and use uh, the chainsaw. Right here, I think I took a little bit too long, so you're going to be able to see. Oh, no, never mind. It's in the other one where I took a little bit too long and the plant was just able to get away but like I said just go ahead and shine your flashlight at him and then um, continue just to beat him up that's the best way I th it does always uh, take like three times just to capture him I think this was like my last time so you can't necessarily really do anything because his plant just it's, it's, it works as a shield to where Dr. Potter isn't affected by your flash so like I said, just want to go ahead and have him bite the plants that are on the floor. So this is what I was talking about right here. He bit the plant that was on the floor and I took a little bit too long. So that took about like maybe five, six seconds. And then he was able to pull away. So I had to go ahead and redirect him to the other ones that he could come and bite. And he destroyed this one. So I believe he was able to get trapped right here. And this is when I did beat him because he's at 78 HP, so he's fairly easy to destroy after that. So you flash light out of him. He's at 60, 50, 42, 24, 4, and 0. And ladies and gentlemen, after that, you just basically capture Dr. Potter and he lets go of the, um, uh, I guess, button for the 8th floor. Uh, you do get the canteen right there or the flowering can yeah the flowering canteen to where you are able to grow that it's a big hint 
So just basically flower that, uh, flower that, water that, and they'll grow and you'll be able to grab the key. So I'm gonna let you guys just watch that really quick. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you ca uh, defeat Dr. Potter, which is the boss ghost that is on the seventh floor. He is 300 HP, but yeah, that's about it, people. You get the key or the button, and yeah, but people thank you for watching please hit that like please hit that follow please hit that subscribe please hit that little bell to be notified every time i upload a new video and this is one time play and i'm out peace